Hello everybody, welcome to Peace, Love, and Guns. My name is Will, and uh, I've got a really short, simple video for you today, being that it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, it might ruffle some feathers because it deals with concepts such as guns and gun ownership, as well as race and uh, kind of an interplay that we have there. Um, uh, people of color, uh, African Americans and other people of color in the U.S. drew the short end of the stick uh, in a lot of ways, and um, we have a long way to go before things are equal in this country. Um, I want to primarily address one thing, and that is that um, people of color are disproportionately affected by gun laws and violence, especially inner city violence. Um, those two things are intrinsically related because um, you can use guns to protect yourself and protect your communities. Historically, this has been the case with the black community. Um, during the Civil Rights Movement, uh, you had World War II veterans who had seen their brothers die on the front lines, um, who actually had machine guns from the Second World War uh, and other military-grade weapons that some would say nobody should own in this country. but. Um, they uh, were able to defend their communities against uh, the Ku Klux Klan members when they were coming in as a death squad to uh, hurt and kill uh, people of color in that community. Um, there's a good book that I think everybody here should read, and it's called... Um, well, there's actually two books that you should read. One is called uh, Negroes with Guns, and the other one is called uh, The Negro and the Gun. Uh, both books kind of have the same premise. They are historical um, dissertations on um, gun ownership by black folk in the United States and its importance to the civil rights movement. Um, let's start protecting our communities, all of our communities, and let's ask our representatives to represent us better um, in the things that will actually make us safe. Uh, this is nonpartisan, but um, it tends to be that uh, a lot of people of color tend to have a feeling of apprehension against gun ownership, um, especially where it concerns things like AR-15s uh, and concealed weapons, as well as, um, you know, weapons in the inner city. Uh, get armed. Uh, the statistics are out there. Um, this country is getting, I would hope, I'd like to believe this country is getting better and that we're on a path to uh, more equality. I think there's a lot of evidence for that, but there's also a lot of disturbing stuff that we see in the news all the time. Let's let's um, if, if you're even the least bit interested uh, as as an individual interested in uh, firearms or self-protection um, ask your friends and family that you know that are interested in that or enthusiastic about it or um, that are gun owners or whatnot ask them to uh, bring you into that world um, people that are in that world reach out to your friends especially your people of your friends that are people of color uh, reach out to them and bring them with you when you go shooting train them uh, start with the four universal gun safety rules uh, we should be going over that every time we go to the range anyway um, let's make a concerted effort to um, start protecting our communities and uh, that's what this is about. So to my black brothers and sisters, uh, know that I love you. And uh, know that uh, the fight for equality is still on in America. And I think that gun ownership has a big place in that. Check out the two books I mentioned, uh, Negroes with Guns and The Negro and the Gun. And uh, if you agree with this video, um, or not, whatever, uh, comment on it like it and most importantly if you agree with it share this video with your friends and get active in the gun culture and the gun community protect your family get get trained get um, educated on firearms and 
let's do this. Let's make the world a better place. And um, yeah, peace, love, and guns, baby.